going to do my main favorites, my pros, cons, and product bombs. So if you want to know the stuff that I am recommending and not recommending, then continue watching. Okay, so the first item I'm going to start well is is with my Pore Professional. This is the little sample that um, I got at Ulta. And to be honest with you, I mean, I could see a little bit of a difference. I usually put my concealer on and then I blot it right into the pore area. And I see that it does minimize it, but I'm really not sure what it really does because I don't see that they, like, go away or make my face smoother. I can still see my pores. So if you all know how this thing works, then let me know because I would really like to know exactly what it does. So my next item is from Essence, and it's the Gel Eyeliner. As you can see, I don't even, like, need to use a lot of it. All you do is take your little eyeliner brush and go ahead, and I actually have it on the top of my eyes today. Um, it goes on very smooth. It stays on for a long period of time. I won't recommend it for underneath the eye because I think it does tend to, like, bleed that way where it kind of just gets a little bit smudgy. So what I do is use this on my um, upper eyelid only. I don't know if you can see that. Um, my upper eyelid, and then I actually use an eyeshadow under the bottom because I'm I'm noticing that just using eyeshadow because it's so hot out, um, eyeliners and stuff tend to just bleed or get kind of smudgy. I'm using just straight black eyeliner um, shadow and then just blotting it in underneath the lash, and it seems to stay on all day and it's working really well. So. That's my recommendation on that. My next item is also from Essence, and this is the Lash and Brow Gel um, Mascara. I actually only use this on my br eyebrows, as you can see, it's just brown. So as soon as I apply my eyeshadow on my brow, I then just take a little bit of it, and um, and it makes it stay. So this is actually, I don't really have anything bad to say about it. I do know that like it kind of comes on a little bit clumpy, so I have to kind of just kind of rub it in. But other than that, I think it's pretty cool. So that's that. Um, and then my two favorite scents right now are the Bee Enchanted and the Malibu Heat. These two are really, really amazing smells. This one I actually use before bed. It, to me, just is a more of a relaxation kind of a smell. It smells just, I don't know. It just makes me feel like I just want to go to bed and just sleep. So this one is my fave for that. And it was funny, we were at dance class, and I'm like, oh, my God, what does that smell? It smells so good, and it kind of reminded me of something. And one of the girls was like, oh, I just put on the spray of Be Enchanted. So, obviously, the spray also smells very good, so look out for that. And then the Malibu Heat, it's just a very clean smell, so I like to put this on during the day. Um, right before I go to work, I just lather myself up, and we're good to go. So, I'm not even using perfumes right now. So, those the next are item good. I have is the Body, Hair, Nails, Skin, um, skin and Nails. Um, I actually picked this up at um, Big Lots. Um, it's just the same thing as Biotin. It's calcium and Biotin. And honestly, for, I think, $4, and I think Biotin is almost $10, this thing just works just as good. And I feel like my hair is, like, definitely growing back. However, my nails are another issue, and I just keep biting the crap out of it. And I don't know why, but hopefully they'll help me out with the nail part. But my skin, my hair... Um, very good. So, big lots for four bucks. Next item is my Rock Your Hair Bombshell Big Hair Powder. I'm actually very much enjoying this. Um, I actually, if I feel like my hair is kind of flat in the morning, like, because I take a shower the night before so that I don't have to, um, get up even earlier for work since I have to get up at four anyway. So, I shower the night before and then I take out my hair, blow dry it and everything, and sometimes I feel like, because I put my hair on a bun, that it, like, makes a crease or something. I just take a little bit of this in my palm and rub it in and just kind of get up into that root right there and it actually pumps it right up. So there's nothing I have bad about this at all. Um, it's just, um, it is what it is. I'm, it's pretty good. I wouldn't buy the full size because that thing is like 16 to $18 and this was only 8 bucks at um, TJ Maxx. So I picked that up because you don't really use a lot of it so you don't really need a full bottle. I mean, this thing's still full. And I haven't even used, like, but you only put a little bit in your palm. So, that's that. The next thing is, is the trimmers that you use for um, eyebrows and, I guess, bikini lines. But I use this for my eyebrows. I do trim up in the sides here where these I get these little um, hairs here. And I'm actually using it a little bit in the corner of my mustache. I don't know if you guys have that problem. But um, if I don't feel like waxing it or um, shaving is really not that bad. I mean, it's kind of bad. But these just kind of... Um, I don't even know if you've ever used these. 
but they're, it's not even a blade, it just feels like a piece of metal or something, but you just kind of like, or on the side, and you're good to go. So quick and easy if you need just a quick fix or something's sticking out, these are really good. And they're really cheap, I think they're like less than a dollar or maybe a dollar, but I got them at Target. Next item um, is my healthy, sexy hair that we got in an Ipsy bag. Um, really good. I actually use this as soon as I get out of the shower along with my new me one, which it's actually way down here, so I'm almost done. But this one, I think I'm almost done with it. I can't really tell because the bottle is just so hard. I don't know if any of you have this in your Ipsy bag, but it's like I'm squeezing the crap out of it and it hurts my poor little fingers because it doesn't come out, you know, so it's like, ugh. That's the only thing I don't like. So, um, but other than that, really works well both together on my hair to smooth it out. And um, I actually feel like my ends are a lot more healthier. They don't look as fried. So those are really good. Uh, next item is my Clean Express. Now these, I used all of them. There were 25 of these in here. I, I really didn't like this at all. Um, it did clean out my face, and it smells really nice, but it kind of makes it feel a little sticky. And if you, like, lip your li like lick your lips for, like, two seconds, it's the most sourest taste in your mouth. So I don't like this. I'm going to stick back to my um, e.l.f. makeup remover wipes. I had a coupon, a dollar off on this, so I'm like, oh, I'll give it a shot. Why not? Um, they do smell good. I'm not going to say that they don't, but... The taste is like a sour taste, and it's disgusting. So I don't know, not like I'm licking the thing, but I might, if I clean my lips off or something after wiping off my face, I'm like, oh, like it's disgusting, gross. So that is my product bomb. I don't like I am also loving my two, um, 252 um, palette. I've been using this like every day since I've gotten it and have gone through, um, I did a tequila sunrise with some oranges and pinks together. I put that on my Instagram. Um, I've done a uh, a blue one, and I've done a purple one. So, like I said, I will get out a tutorial on makeup, I promise. But I just need the time to set that up. And I believe, lastly but not least, I'm loving my new Me Live Blanco um, bag. It is so cute, and this is actually the one item that I'm loving, which is the exact same brand, because I got the same insert. Now this thing is awesome. You just put your like, actually I have, <laughs> I have one of these tiny little wallets, whoa, and I just put my credit card in there and my um, license and I'm good to go. I put that puppy on in there, where's my phone, right, and then I just slide my phone up in that, I lock it up, and I am good to go. So it's like people are like, hey, let's go to lunch real quick. Okay, put that in there. Put it on my wrist and I'm out of there instead of having to take <laughs> What are you guys doing? Taking out my whole purse and then carrying it across just the street to go get something to eat for lunch. So this has been awesome and I love it. And I actually have an open LBB bag right now with a new, another one like this but with a phone on it. So I'm really excited to get that. But that is it for my May favorites, my pros, cons, and product bombs. Hope you enjoy. Subscribe, thumbs up, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.